Welcome to Southern Tier Treasures. WSKG is at the Phelps Mansion Museum today in downtown Binghamton. Chris Coldaway from Endwell is here. Thank you for being here, Chris. Well, thank you for having me. And obviously we have a violin. What, how did this particular violin come into your life? Well, when I was uh, nine, I was visiting my grandparents in Hamburg, Germany. And to try to entertain me, because it was largely all adults speaking languages I didn't get at the time, uh, my grandmother took down her violin from when she was a little girl and said, here, play with this. So I came up with... A little fiddler on the roof. She found that so amusing and so wonderful that she handed it to me when I left, when we were oh my gosh. home. And so this was the violin that she had played when she was a little girl. We're figuring right now that it's probably turn of the century, oh my gosh. Um, maybe late 19th century. Um, Did you learn anything about it tonight that you didn't know before? It, I learned that there's more to learn about it because we were all a little bit stumped, as I was, about where it might have been made. We've narrowed it down probably to Europe. There is a possibility it may have been Japan, uh, even at the late 19th century and early 20th century. My guess, however, is probably either Germany, Czechoslovakia, or Italy. Uh, student model, but it was, she had the impression that it was old when she had it. So we need to do more research. So did they hazard a guess as to value? I forgot to ask. <laughs> and I guess that's because, to me, it's priceless. Well, and yes, with a story like that. As your priceless, grandmother was so impressed that she gave it to you. She made this oh. to put it on to protect the strings when it was in her case. So that's the part that's really priceless. Well, Chris, thank you so much for bringing it. It's nice to hear your story. Well, thank you. Appreciate it, and thank you for doing this. Oh, our pleasure.